Does God predestine some to be saved? Now, this is a very deep theological question right here, and it kind of gets into some pastor's talk, all right? And so let me just break this down by saying that there are two different camps that are out there. And the first camp believes that God created the world and he knows everything that's going to happen. And so he kind of wrote this play and that we are living out this play regardless of any of our decisions. And so, in other words, that God predestines or elects certain people to go to heaven and he predetermines or elects people to go to hell. Okay, so that's one camp. There's another camp out there that says, yeah, God knows the beginning from the end. And God knows whether or not you're going to say yes or no to him, but he still gives mankind the choice, even though he knows the decision that you're ultimately going to make. So the first camp is what's called Calvinism. And Calvinism came about as a theology in the 1600s from a Swiss reformer named John Calvin. And what it basically says is that God picks those that are going to go to heaven and he handpicks those that are going to go to hell. And so human will has no bearing on whether or not somebody makes a decision for Christ. It's out of your control. And they'll use scriptures like this. It says in Romans, for those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. So kind of interesting, all right? The second camp is what's called Armenianism. And this came about in the 17th century from a a, a theologian. His name was James Armenian. And what they believe is that God knows the beginning from the end. He knows whether or not you're going to make the choice to choose Jesus as your Savior and Lord but that human will is still available to every single person, that you have the ability to choose God or not, even though God knows the end decision. And they'll use scriptures like this. In 2 Peter, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. He's patient with you. and He doesn't want anyone to perish, but everybody to come to repentance. To which I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, all right, well, Pastor Chris, what do you think? Because I know that people want to know, what do I think? And so let me respond to this by saying that I think that people typically group churches into one of these two different camps. And I believe that neither one of them in their wholeness actually define what we believe, what I believe. In fact, I believe that there are parts in both of them that I think have value. And so I don't fully embrace Calvinism and I don't fully embrace Arminianism. Uh, if you were to tie me down and say, hey, Chris, what do you believe? I, I believe in, I am an Arminianist that has a few Calvinist tendencies. And here's why, because God's so much bigger than anything I could ever even imagine. God God does things that I can't fit into my brain at times. In fact, there are things about his will and his sovereignty that I, I don't fully grasp. I've experienced some things that, you know what? This side of heaven, I, I really, I can't understand it fully. And so I I believe personally that every person on this planet can be saved. And I believe that God wants to give a choice to every single person to accept him or deny him. That's the heart of God. And that's why we work so hard and we serve and we give so that we can get the message of Jesus Christ out to as many people as possible. And the people said, amen.